Hi, today I'm unboxing this Omao glass diffuser and I'm going to give you my first impressions. Omao reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing their glass diffuser. I had a look at their website and I decided yes, I'd love to check it out. Okay, so let's get started. I've got my scissors here. I did notice that nowhere on this outside of this box did it say glass or fragile. But it, oh, wait a minute, there's something else in here. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. On their website, they don't have very many essential oils. I wasn't expecting to receive the essential oils. So what they've sent me here are lavender, uh, frankincense, which I like, eucalyptus, and bergamot. So I'll have to check into these. These are the four they sent me. This is interesting. So this is the essential oil diffuser. Power, powerful and sophisticated, relax your mind and experience the rich aroma from your, your essential oils. Made with real solid wood for the base, hand blown glass for the dome cover. Enjoy a perfect aromatic art piece for your home or workplace. The reservoir is made from hand blown natural glass. No plastics or artificial materials come in contact with your oils keeping it pure and safe. Be free and set your mood from the start of your day to the end of your night. So on this uh, cover, it says that there's eight rotating lights. There's a 200 mil uh, glass reservoir. It's 500 square feet of coverage. Auto shut off timer, which is good. Add water easily, quiet operation. All right, let's have a look. So a little booklet. To, with all the instructions of how to clean it and how it works and where to add the water. So there is a little plastic container for the water. Oh, and a little scrub brush. Now that's kind of handy because my previous diffusers, I would use a Q-tip or some tissue to try to get in with my rubbing alcohol to clean the inside of my essential oil reservoir. So the scrub brush will definitely come in handy for that. So here is the electrical, the plug-in to the diffuser. It is packaged really well. Okay, so here's the glass dome. So it's kept secure with the foam inside the box. Imagine you have to do that or wrap it really well in paper. This is quite light because of the look of it, it looks vintage to me. I thought it would be heavier, but it's not. Now I have a question here. So far it looks really pretty. There is a rubber ring, like a silicone ring around this wood base. Now I'm gonna have to look because I don't know if that's supposed to come off. So it's got the bottom here. It's got a one button and three lights here. I have to read this now. I'm not sure if that comes off. Maybe it doesn't. So it looks like the silicone ring is in there and I'm not going to pull it out or do anything because this is here. I bet you it's so that this doesn't clink. But there's a little wood lip underneath there so I'm not sure why they have the silicone here because this would actually really move because the wood lip is um, raised right there. But when you cover it up, see it. Where do you plug this in? So this is where you would put your water. Okay, so there's a little um, diagram here. A little, um, it says max. So this is the max water level, I guess, up to where the wood would start. It goes in deeper like that. And let's plug this guy in. Where's the pump? Oh. So underneath here is where you would plug it in. And there's a, actually a little groove so you can run that. I'm not going to put water in this time. Well, so far, I'm very intrigued by this. A couple of things. Uh, the, what they do say is that no, no plastic comes in contact with your essential oils, which is true because this, this, if it's silicone, it's just on the outside to protect the glass. But there's nothing else in here. This is just a glass container inside this wood piece with a silicone rim then you don't see any of that, and this is how it would look. So I'm gonna be test this, the, testing this out for the next few weeks to see how it is and how quiet it is, and then um, we'll go from there, but I'm gonna have a little, I'm gonna check the 
these essential oils out. I didn't expect to be receiving these. It's nice. That's the bergamot. You, uh, frankincense I use in my skincare. I put it on my face and I like it because it's got that earthy woody smell. I like that. I like their packaging too. I like the neutral kind of earthy tones. And this is the lavender. Mm, yeah, they're nice. Did I see eucalyptus? Well, that was a nice surprise. I will definitely try those. Yeah, my first impressions are I really like it. I like the look of it and I like that it's glass. I was a little bit confused why they have to put this silicone um, around the wood, but it is not in contact with the water that you would put in here. Um, and it is solid wood and it is glass and it is pretty. So the real test, and this is where it would diffuse out at the top here. So the real test is how it diffuses, how quiet it is, because I don't like um, a mechanical sound. I don't mind a water sound if it's like hissing and things like that, that's great, but I don't want a mechanical sound. So just looking at their website, they do have here listed six essential oils. They have lavender, eucalyptus, tea tree, peppermint, frankincense, and bergamot. So the only things I'm missing are the tea tree and the peppermint, which is fine. I have those anyways. So I'm looking forward to trying these. On the website, for instance, I'm looking at the lavender and it says 100% organic, globally sourced. So that's a good thing. And what I will do is I will have a link in the description for the website and also there's a discount code unlily 12 to get 12% off your order. So if you're interested in trying this out, um, you can use the link in my description and then the discount code on Nelly12. I will definitely let you know how this diffuser works. I'm really excited to give it a try and I will try these essential oils also. And I thank you to Oma for sending me this to give it a try and to let you guys know how it is. If you're interested in how I choose my essential oil company that I buy from, I did make a video a few years ago it's still relevant because it's still the things that I look for in a company. So watch this vi video next. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye.